you know. Sometimes I kind of think to myself when I wake up, like, dang, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Because I might have the most bland stuff going on, and I'm like, how am I supposed to make content out of this? But the simple answer is you just got to do it. And yeah, that's something I've struggled with a lot, honestly, but Chris, yeah, no, love Chris. Chris has really, con you know, he's really convinced me that you really just got to do it. And if you're thinking about doing anything, whether that be making a YouTube channel, starting your own business, whatever that may be, you just got to do it. And if you're not doing it, ask yourself, why not? Because the best time is always now. It's always now. And, you know, there might be a million reasons as to why not to do it. You know, everybody can always come up with excuses, but there's always going to be a million reasons not to do anything. And there's always going to be a million reasons to do anything. So you got to think to yourself, like, what's going to make you the happiest? And you just got to execute on that. Like I was saying, there's always a million reasons not to do something. Like when I woke up this morning, I'm like, man, I really, I'm not doing anything that crazy today. My mom's also still sleeping, so I kind of got to stay quiet, I'm tired from yesterday. There's always a million reasons to stay in bed, not do, not do anything. But I want to do something because I want my day to go to waste. I want to make some good content for y'all. And more than anything, I just, I just want to be productive today. It's Friday. It's a good day. I'm excited. I'm happy to be alive, as everybody should be. So I'm just making some eggs right now. Got five eggs, a little bit of salsa, ready to go. So today, what I got on the schedule, I'm gonna be doing work, I'm gonna be doing some schoolwork, most of the schoolwork today. Cutting today a little short because I gotta go help my girlfriend move. And then probably be door dashing because sometimes it's like that. No matter what you do, there's gonna be ups and downs. Um, so, you know, something like today where, you know, I got a door dash to kind of help meet my expenses and whatnot. That ain't the end of the day. That ain't the end of the plan. That is not the end of the year. Uh. That just means I gotta stay up a little late some nights delivering some Taco Bell. I ain't got nothing wrong with that. I just gotta make that change to it. Another thing. You're not sure when you can get something done, you know, it's always, oh, I'll get, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that next week. Start today. There's nothing stopping you. You have set a timer. We got a timer. Every day I, get ch I change this. Every day I change this. And every single day I look at this and I'm like, dang, that timer's going down. So we got to get on it. The same way you got to get on it. So get that shit. Damn. 168. What is up, players? So, today is kind of a off day. I am doing mostly homework today, which kind of stinks. And Chris is going to be, I know he has jujitsu tonight, but I know he's working all day. And I'm about to go help my girlfriend move. So, kind of a full day, but I'm also going to do some door dashing here in a little bit just to make some extra bread on the side. So, I'll catch y'all then. Deuces. What is up, everybody? I got all my girl's stuff in this trailer and then back in my trunk back here, helping her move on the way to her new apartment. But I just want to follow up on a little bit more about this morning. So one of the things me and Chris do that I really, I think is a big thing that helps us, helps what make we do. That you, um, you had. I think one of the big things that Chris and I do that just really helps make what we do work is the fact that we just like, if you have something bad that's going on, it's not about the fact that, oh, like this bad thing happened to me, now I have to get through it. It's, you gotta use everything as a learning experience. Like we've had some issues, like recently we had some issues with payment processing. So we're out like 2000, over $2,000 for about three months. Now we'll get that money back, but we don't really have over $2,000 to just have not available to us for three months. So. What we've done is we've used it like, okay, now we really got to live within our means. We really got to live like we're broke a little bit for a while. Spare change, ma'am. Now we really have to just live within our means. And, you know, we're really having to be pretty frugal with everything we do. Having to do side hustles, just get a little cash here and there. But stuff like that, you know, some people tell us like, oh, man, that's a sign to stop. That's a sign to quit. You can't get through this. That's never an option. Never was an option. Never will be an option. The whole basis of we, we're gonna do this is not, we're gonna do this if everything works out smoothly. We're gonna do this if everything is 
perfect all the way through, it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna suck sometimes. There's gonna be some struggles. There's gonna be some hiccups, some speed bumps, some, you know, some forks in the road, whatever you wanna call it. There's gonna be some issues, but you'll never meet somebody who has a successful company or who was successful at anyone, at anything that said, hey, yeah, I, you know, this worked out for me first try with no issues. No, there's always, there's always like issues that you have to get over. There's always things that you have to do to make it work. And that's just the big thing that a lot of people I feel like don't appreciate because for, for me and Chris, I know it's not if we make it, it's when we make it, how will we make it? And it's like, how many speed bumps are we going to have to, are we going to have to get over? It's not about, Oh, how many speed bumps can we survive? It's how many are we going to have to get over before we get there? Cause we're just not going to stop. That's the same thing I want everybody else to do because if everybody just did that, everybody would be achieve, achieving their dreams left and right. You know, you, you really only limiting yourself without that mindset. And that's that's one of the big things I've been I've been thinking about a lot lately that's really helped me out through a few a few different hard times. I think I think that's really important. So during the little ice bath mini game we had the other day, of course with my luck, one of the ice packs broke, which no blame. So it's like, I don't know if y'all can see that, leaking out all over the table. I don't actually want that in the ice bath, but a lot of it actually leaked out in the ice bath, but I didn't realize it until like, it was too late. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on actually draining the ice bath today for the first time. That carpet's wet. But uh, I gotta figure out how to drain that, kinda out this direction. But let's get straight to it. Finishes up draining. I need to clean this up. It got in the dang chair. Come on now. Ugh. And you don't have a helmet on. Idiot. All right. On a phase two, washing. Alrighty. That actually did a, like just water cleaned it pretty well. So I'm happy with it. Gosh darn it. to phase three which is filling it up i'll catch y'all when it's done what is popping y'all so i'm actually not gonna fill it up as much as i did last time actually it might already be that full oh well but my initial idea was when i actually get in it's gonna leak some but if it does that it'll just happen it'll be fine but now that we got this on thermometer goes in tub is cleaned cover is on we're good to go and after i'm doing all that chris is out here at jujitsu absolutely getting it <laughs> but that's it for today you guys keep hustling keep it going we'll see you tomorrow